Welcome. Thanks for joining, guys. We're going to make this super cute, very easy to do little vase of flowers. I think that these have come out to look like peonies. Um, they're sort of abstract and whimsical in nature. This is going to be a short, fun, and very easy video to do. So uh, let's get started. All right, guys, welcome. Let's get started on our a pretty little um, vase of sort of abstracty flowers. So what you're gonna need today is a mini canvas. This is, um, I think it's a four by four, but you can use any size canvas or paper that you want. You can even paint on wood. Um, so I did um, have this already prepped with a little bit of a light blue and white paint on the background, but you don't have to do that. You could just do plain white or you could do um, any other sort of color that you think would look good. You're going to need a pencil and you're going to need some paint brushes, all different sizes. Um, try to get some that have the ability to do some detail. So little pointy ones, pointy on the end like that. And as for paint, um, we're going to be using a few different colors. We're going to be using um, this sort of like a rose colored pink, um, a medium colored pink and a light pink and some yellow, of course white, and then we have uh, this sort of lighter blue and then a darker blue and then green, which will be for the leaves. So that's pretty much what you're gonna need. You'll need a cup of water and also some paper towel and your imagination and let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pencil in our, um, our vase. So I don't, I'm not a good, I'm not good at drawing, so I just kind of, guess what I'm doing and I just kind of make it up as I go along. I'm good at painting but I'm not great at drawing. So I'm just doing just a basic kind of vase just across the top. So I'm just penciling it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right there you can see I kind of started and I decided to change my mind. Um, but that's okay because the paint will cover that. So that's pretty much what, I actually might even put a little like bottom right here to it just to kind of give it a little bit more of a fancy look. See how that comes out. All right, and now I'm gonna start painting that in and I'm going to do some blues and I'm going to start with the dark blue, pick up a little bit of the light blue and then just start painting it in. So this is this is a mini canvas, so this is a little um, canvas. So you want to kind of take your time with it, and use smaller brushes. I'm I'm kind of used to using big brushes because I usually do much larger canvases. Um, so it's fun to switch it up and do something a little bit different. I'm going to add in a little bit of white too. So this is just basically like coloring it in, like if you were in kindergarten and you had to color in the, the lines, remember that? Coloring in the lines. I was the kind of kid who did not color in the lines. <laughs> I probably should have known back then that, that being an artist was what I was supposed to be. Not much of a rule follower. All right, so I'm kind of bringing it down, adding in some more of this lighter color, and we'll come back to this and kind of fix it up. And if it, you know, if it comes out and you're like, that doesn't look good, just paint over it. I just want to get some paint down, get the idea, the, the out, outline of what you're going to be doing. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to be fun. So some nice bright blues in there. I'm using the same brush, so I'm not cleaning the brush in between. I'm grabbing the different colors. And that's okay. Hmm, I don't know about this. Well, we'll see how it comes out. 
Sometimes I can be a little too judgmental on what I'm doing in the beginning. And then as the painting progresses, it gets better and better. But not always. Sometimes it's not so good all the way to the end and then I got to redo it. And that's all right. Because that's how you learn. So by layering in these colors, it's um, giving it some, some depth, which just means it doesn't look flat on the um, canvas or page. Okay, so I'm gonna um, wash that brush. You know what, I think I'm gonna, no. Well, I was gonna make this just a little bit taller and I think I will do that. Cause I just feel like it's kind of, it's kind of small on the canvas and I want a fair amount of this to show, of the vase to show, because the vase is important. Um, so as you can see, as, as I go through the process, I change my mind a lot, and that's part of it, and that's okay. I'm just messing around, messing around. All right, so that kind of a funny looking vase, but you get the idea. So it's a little bit bigger now, and I think it's a little bit more in proportion to the actual rest of the canvas. So I'm going to um, clean that brush off. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting in just some very nice little um, stems. So nice and easy. Nothing too crazy. Just sort of drawn lines. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just like that. So I'm going lightly here. Which is what you kind of want to do. Sometimes they end up looking like not stems, but like branches. <laughs> That's okay too. That's all right. All right, so that's just kind of the beginning. We'll go back in and put leaves in and and um, fix those up a little bit. So I'm gonna clean my brush off again and using the same brush, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take that darker pink and we're gonna go from dark to light. So we're gonna start with the darkest color and I'm gonna just draw circles like that. Doesn't have to be fancy. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Now these are sort of like whimsical abstracty flowers. They're not going to be um, maybe the exact flowers you would see outside. It's just supposed to be kind of fun. Put one down here. They look like lollipops right now. Lollipop flowers. This is a great thing to do with kids too because they can really do this pretty easily. So we'll do a, a little one over here and then another one over here. This guy down here. Same over here, bigger one like that. Looking very lollipop-ish, but don't worry, it'll come together. And you don't have to put one on every single stem. You can pretty much do whatever you want. But you do want it to be kind of haphazard so that the, it doesn't all look like perfect. So like if you look at a vase, some flowers are kind of pointing to the right, some are pointing to the left, that kind of thing. I think I'm gonna do another little one right here. And then maybe, hmm, fill that one a little bit more. And maybe another little one right here. Another one right here. Another one right there. 
it's the finding the balance of having too many and too little is always can be a challenge especially for me I should say it's not always a challenge it's a challenge for me sometimes I, I paint something and then I go back and I'm like that doesn't look good there's not enough or there's too many so All right, let's, let's stop with that. I'm gonna clean the brush. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take that sort of medium colored pink and I'm gonna start putting that in like that around. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of bringing the, the colors out a little bit. So in and then out. And you know what, I'm realizing this pink doesn't really show up. So I don't know if I'm gonna use it. It's not really showing up the way that I thought that it would. So I might have to, well, we'll just keep going. So I'm just doing little little dabs here, almost like little, um, just kind of bringing it out a little bit so they look like petals more. It's not, it's not, sometimes you have to play around with the colors because what you think you're going to get, you don't get. <laughs> this happens a lot. Sometimes I mix colors and I'm like, that's not the color I wanted. Just playing around. But it's actually coming, see, when I started out, I was like, that's not good, but it's, it's, it's okay. It's coming okay. So we're just kind of putting those colors on the edge and just making little, little tiny marks on the outside. Oops, grabbed the wrong color there. You can see it there a little bit better. Like that. So this is the kind of I don't know, boring part, I guess. Where you just go in and dab, dab, dab. I'm working out of my home today. And you probably hear the washing machine in the background. Per usual, we're doing laundry. All right, there we go. Okay, so that's hmm, interesting. Not exactly how I thought it was gonna turn out, but this is all part of the process. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Same brush, clean, cleaned it off in the water. Now I'm gonna take that light pink and now I'm gonna be much, much more careful by dabbing in the colors. So I'm doing much lighter strokes and I'm giving it the petals. Like that. So it's almost like little C's I'm making, little C, C. A little C, little C, little C. Like the letter C. And then as the petals go in, they get a little bit um, smaller. So that's why it's good to have like a little tiny brush. I may even switch over to one of these over here. One of these smaller brushes, I haven't decided yet. Sometimes I pick out a bunch of brushes and I end up only using one. Little C, 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 C. Like that. Go back in that one. I didn't really like the way that that looked. So, yeah. C, C, C. I'm just basically going back and forth, you guys, and, and this is the sort of 
boring part, I guess. But I don't think it's boring. This is the, to me, this is the part that makes it relaxing. Let's fix these guys up over here, these little ones. Just kind of messing around here. That one came out pretty good, that flower. And I love doing these minis. Um, people love them. I just did a show this past weekend and I sold a whole bunch um, from little kids all the way up to basically everybody was um, loving them because they, they make good gifts. And, uh, you know, they're just a sweet little thing that you could put on uh, your shelf or whatever you wanna do. I just was holding back a sneeze and now my nose is running. We're getting into springtime here in Massachusetts. So everything's gonna be blooming. Okay, see how different that looks now? So pretty, okay. So, excuse me while I'm sort of sniffling a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my yellow and I think I'm gonna use a little bit of a bigger brush. So this one, um, it's nothing fancy. It just has kind of a, a more of a flatter edge, but you could, you don't have to use something like this. And I'm just gonna put a tiny little dot in the center of each one. And if it's too big, go back and, and pick it up. Like that. Just a little bit. You know what these look like? These look like peonies a little bit. Like that. Pretty, pretty. Okay. Oops, I forgot that little guy down there. Well, that, was, that part was easy. Now, I think I'm gonna go back in again with that darker pink, and I'm just gonna add in a little bit more to give it a little more depth, just a little bit. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to. I just like to go back in and um, make sure it looks like all the colors are kind of balanced and fix up any little areas that you bounced over that little part right there that's okay you know um little little piece sticking out that could be a petal that's about to fall off it's all good it's just a little a little here a little there give it a little more finishing touches so to speak People often ask me, how do you know when to stop? And I'm like, um, usually when I'm like, I don't know, I just kind of know. I'm like, okay, I've had enough, <laughs> whatever it is that I'm doing. That looks cute. All right, so now we're gonna go back in with some, um, and do some of the leaves. So I'm gonna wash the brush that I used to do the yellow. And I am going to take some of that green Put it on my brush. So it's this brush, this one. And I'm gonna just do some leaves like that. Doesn't have to be fancy. Bigger ones, smaller ones, whatever you wanna do. I don't know. So it's just little like dot, 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 dot. So you can see how this is coming together much better than if you didn't, like you need to do the leaves because it just looks strange if you don't. Um, that filling in of that green adds a big pop to the painting. 
I'm just going to put in some a little bit there. Maybe a couple up like a little bit like in this area. Oh my nose, what is happening? A little bit more there. You don't want it to look like a bush, okay? Just some leaves kind of coming off. All right, now we're just about done. We're just gonna go back in and just give the, the vase a little bit more depth. So I'm gonna take my white with that light blue and I'm just gonna pop that in a little bit. Oops, that's too light. So I'm gonna bring that darker blue back in. This is how you, you gotta figure it out, guys. You just kind of play around. Yeah. Edge it out a little bit. That looks pretty. I like the way that that blue just kind of came in like that. That's nice. Some nice depth, some brightness. Because this is what I'm thinking when I think of this a nice bright blue base. Some pretty flowers in it. it out a little bit so those rougher spots on the side are kind of gone. This looks kind of a little bit weird right here but that's okay. And there we have it. And that is pretty much it, you guys. Um, I always do sign them in this on the side. I mean, in the corner, just because um, I think it makes it look kind of professional. So I always put my initials, Julianne E. McLaughlin. And that's it. That is um, complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was really fun to do and very easy. And um, yeah, so please like, subscribe, and share this video. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.